Welcome to our D3.js tutorial. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers about centering trees in D3 version 4. They noticed that when they set up their tree layout with a specific size, it looks perfectly centered. But when they try to adjust the vertical spacing between nodes, the tree shifts to the top left. Let's dive into this puzzling behavior and see if we can uncover the reason behind it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. Let's explore why your D3 tree is not centered when you specify the node size. First, we'll look at the initial setup where the tree is centered. In this setup, the size method defines the overall dimensions of the tree layout, allowing it to center properly within the specified height and width. Now when you change the code to include node size, like this, var tree map equals d3.tree, size width.nodeSize40, the layout shifts. The reason for this shift is that the node size method alters the vertical spacing between nodes, which can affect the overall positioning of the tree. To fix this, you may need to adjust the transform properties of the tree or recalculate the layout after setting the node size. This will help maintain the centered position. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To center a D3 tree when specifying node size, you can easily set the transform property on load. This allows for dynamic adjustments by SVG. And that's it guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.